Hey guys, Jimo here again with an update on the TR6 restoration job and some information on how to choose an appropriate primer. Now this TR6 I've shown some flashes of over the last year but haven't talked a whole lot about it. We've made some significant progress on it over the last uh, month, not quite ready for paint, but perhaps by the end of next week. So it was in pretty rough shape when we first got it and we've welded in new floors, rockers, a rear end panel and some various patches all over the car. It was sandblasted down and all of the rust removed first of course. To protect the metal we've applied an epoxy primer over the bare metal which let us slowly work away at it without the fear of rust returning. The reason epoxy was used here was because you can apply um, body filler over top of an epoxy primer whereas to the best of my knowledge you can't do that with any etch primers. More often than not the epoxy was ground away before body filler was applied on it anyway. Once the bodywork was completed we then applied a polyester primer which is a super high build primer made from the same resins as body filler. This particular one was feather fill which actually is a polyester urethane hybrid. Polyester primers don't stand quite as well as urethane primers but could be painted directly over if you were so inclined. So after that gets blocked down with some 180 grit sandpaper, then we put it in the paint booth, mask it up and it's ready to be primed again. This time on small metal breakthroughs we're going to use an aerosol etch primer. Now an interesting thing, I asked some of my friends on Refinish Network about the difference between aerosol etch primers and the ones you spray out of a gun because it's a little confusing because the kind you spray requires an activator but an aerosol doesn't. I was informed that the kind you mix up has a higher acid content and is a superior product. So if you're treating large areas of bare metal with etch primer, you may want to consider mixing and spraying. Now a common question at this point would be what's the difference between an etch primer and an epoxy primer and what's better? Now the difference is really how the product works. An etch is an acid that bites into the metal whereas an epoxy primer has great adhesion to the metal and works to create a watertight coating. One isn't necessarily better than the other. It's more about what's going to work for, for you and be more productive. They both differ in certain attributes such as speed and compatibility. I found, find epoxy primers to be more user friendly whereas edge primers are more productive. As a generalization that's not always the case. It really depends on the job at hand. So once my edge primer flashes off, I can apply my next primer, which is a urethane high build primer. This is going to provide uh, one last chance to level off any imperfections before painting and create a better foundation. You could also use an epoxy high build primer here. The trade-off would be uh, slower drying times and usually less build, but it is a superior primer in terms of dur durability and the last job, a big job I did was a Corsica Complete where I used an epoxy primer and it was one of the easiest sanding primers I had ever used and the only tr problem was it took three days for it to dry. You can also use a direct to metal urethane primer on some small breakthroughs but generally anything that has metal exposed larger than two inches you're going to need to apply something else on it first. When spraying primer, it should go on like clear coat and it's great practice for, on how, for how clear goes on. Your primer can be controlled with hardeners and sometimes reducers based on the temperature and humidity and the size of the job. This one here, I'm going to be using a slower hardener. That way the primer will flow out and lay down smooth with uh, minimal texture. So that's going to be it for today guys, thanks for watching and be sure to watch for the painting video on this one, it's going to dark green with a pair of black painted on racing stripes down the middle, I'm looking forward to doing this and in the meantime you can follow my progress on this job and many others on Instagram or Twitter using the username at refinishnetwork, so see you next time.